Welcome to weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. The first one is DJI leaks for the Mini 4. We also have a drone that allegedly hit a Airbus in France. And then Remote ID was actually in use at the 2023 Super Bowl and we just found out. Let's get to it. Your first story this week are some leaks of a potential DJI Mini 4. Uh, we kind of covered that a while back. We stopped talking about it because we weren't so sure if it was real or not. Um, the Mini 3 Pro was released just a year ago in May of 2022. So uh, seeing a video shared on Twitter suggests that there is a Mini 4 uh, that may be in the works and we're kind of scratching our heads. Uh, from the video, it looks like it's very similar to the design of the Mini 3, but it's got a front landing gear, which is something that we quite frankly had built for our Mini 3 because we didn't like the fact that it was a little wobbly. Uh, there are currently no leaked specs or anything uh, concrete coming from a whole lot of people that usually have leaks, uh, but would be surprised if DJI actually chooses to release a new mini drone. Uh, this turnaround at this stage is super quick, uh, especially to discard the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro. Now, one of our guesses in the office is that uh, it could be a Mini 3S Pro. Now, we don't have anything to back it up, but uh, this would be the same camera, but just using some minor changes such as uh, OcuSync 4 that we just saw on the Air 3. So let us know what you think in the comments and if you think this is actually legit. And on to the next one, a large drone supposedly hit an Airbus A380 on approach to the Nice airport in France. Uh, we're going to say that again, supposedly. Uh, there's been any confirmation at this stage that the damage is indeed caused by the drone. It hasn't been. And uh, now that there is, seems to be quite a bit of damage to the leading edge of the A380, now you can see from the available images that it shows damages just aft of the leading edge uh, of the wing with a number of holes and broken pieces of the composite. Uh, the French BEA, which is the equivalent to the NTSB, is investigating. And then again, at this stage, there is no confirmation that this is indeed a drone. You might be wondering, why are we talking about this? Well, because we've been seeing it quite a bit in a lot of different places. And I want to, uh, before we see a frenzy of people talking about uh, that a drone did that, well, at this stage, there is no actual confirmation. But we'll keep you updated if we see more about this. And finally, uh, your favorite word, the R word, the remote ID word. Uh, we all know that remote ID is right around the corner. And uh, at this stage, we just found out that uh, remote ID receivers and transmitters were being voluntarily used during the Super Bowl this year by certain participants. The drone show at Super Bowl 57 had remote ID on every drone. And uh, also the police and then other public safety drones were equipped with remote ID. Uh, the system was run by Pierce Aerospace and then included both their remote ID broadcast module and then also a remote ID receiver uh, to make sure that the drones operating inside of the TFR were indeed authorized to do so. Uh, now on the remote ID topic, uh, we'll be releasing a video very, very, very soon uh, comparing these modules, uh, including the Pierce Aerospace B1 and then uh, five or six others. Uh, the reason this video has been so delayed you might be wondering, it's because it's been very difficult to find these modules and get them. And uh, we're hoping to go uh, live on camera and release it early next week or in, uh, at the end of next week. Uh, so soon you'll be able to uh, stop asking us questions about which one we prefer, because at this stage, I don't really know, quite frankly. Uh, we've done some testing. I have a hint, but uh, we'll give you the final version of which one we actually recommend. All right, and then one final thing, we'll be doing a drone live stream on Monday, uh, as always, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. So make sure that you tune in, come and ask your question. We had a great one last week, uh, did some giveaways at the end as well, and we'll do that again this week. And that's it, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.